What's up everyone, King Krabs back again today. I want to discuss briefly the fact Urshifu Single Strike was banned from the monotype format. So in today's video I want to briefly discuss why it was banned, some potential other options in dark and fighting teams, and then finally my thoughts on the ban and where the meta is going to go from here. So first off, let's look into why Urshifu was banned. It was taken to a vote in suspect testing and in the end it was decided it was too powerful for the monotype tier. So I can understand why. Personally, I was slightly on the fence about the ban, so I didn't take part in the suspect because I didn't have too much of a say either way. Overall, the majority wanted the ban, so we'll see this implemented very soon. So now let's discuss why. So simply put, Urshifu Single Strike was felt it was too strong for the current monotype meta, and I can see why. It has an amazing stat spread with 130 base and a decent 97 space speed. So 97 isn't the best, it's nothing particularly to write home about, however, 97 is key because it outspeeds base 95 Pokemon, especially the dangerous Tapu Lele, which is ordinarily a huge threat to the fighting and dark type um, teams. So being able to outspeed Tapu Lele is fantastic. On top of that, its ability Unseen Fist essentially negates any form of scouting possible. So normally against a lot of choice locked Pokemon, which Urshifu is very typically choice banned or choice scarf, a lot of options are to click protect and scout the intentions of the Pokemon and play around accordingly. Unfortunately, this was basically impossible against Urshifu because Unseen Fist goes through protect and this is compounded the issue with the fact its ability at signature attack wicked blow is just simply very 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 strong i'd go as far as to say overpowered it's base 80 and always results in a critical hit this is fantastic because it can ignore any stat drops on urshifu intimidators are effectively useless against urshifu's wicked blow increasing your defense with like iron defense for example is essentially uh, useless against wicked blow making this thing almost impossible to tank especially coming off close combat Sorry, especially coming off Choice Band. On top of that, Close Combat is a secondary stab which pairs so nicely with Wicked Blow because Close Combat hits a lot of the tiers super effectively or a lot of things neutrally and that which it doesn't hit super effectively or neutrally, Wicked Blow pretty much perfectly covers them, except for the Fairy type, which is where something like Poison Jab comes in fantastic. On top of that, outspeeding it is frequently not an option because with correct plays, Urshifu can also run Sucker Punch and just pick off speedier threats especially faster choice scarf lock users. On top of that, Urshifu also had access to bulk up if it wanted to run, for example, a bulk up life orb or bulk up leftover set, which can make this thing hard to predict and even stronger to take on. So overall, I could understand why it was seen as a way too powerful threat for the tier. So let's discuss some options that Dark or Fighting can run. So first off with Dark, I think we'll see the rise in Weaver, for example. Its base attack isn't as strong at 120 compared to Urshifu's 130, but where it truly shines is a far superior speed stat of 125, which outspeeds a ton of common threats, um, namely things like Gengar, whose base 350 speed. It can outspeed that without Choice Scarf, or with Choice Scarf, Weavile can outspeed its own Choice Scarf. So things like that are really, really nice, especially um, if the Gengar runs Dazzling Gleam, which it often does to take care of a lot of dark types like Choice Scarf Hydrogon, for example. We also can outspeed things like Choice Scarf Nihiligo, again, frequently running Choice um, Dazzling Gleam to sweep through uh, dark teams. So I do see a rise in Weavile. Unfortunately, I think its moves are a little worse than um, Urshifu, and where it truly does not shine is its pathetic bulk. At base 70-65, this thing is truly, truly frail compared to Urshifu's fantastic base 100-100. Granted, its special defense was nothing to write home about. It does have access to good Ice Stab. Unfortunately, I think Ice Stab is somewhat unreliable. We can run Icicle Crash, for example, which is only base 90, which isn't fantastic. Or we can run the more powerful Triple Axel. At max power, I believe it's 120 base. It can break through Sashes and Sturdies substitutes, which is really good. Unfortunately, it's not too reliable. I think it's 73% accurate to hit all three moves, or maybe 72. I can't remember the maths off the top of my head. 
Dark stab wise, we can rely on knockoff, for example, which is pretty decent as team support, but Weavile is often not strong enough to win a KO Pokemon. It's not super effective on, and knockoff will provide good team support, but unfortunately, it is weaker every time you knock off an, uh, an item. We can run Ice Shard for priority if we miss priority from Sucker Punch on Urshifu, and we can run, for example, Low Kick as a secondary fighting coverage, though it's not the most reliable and not the most strong coming off Weavile. Now let's discuss the original dark fighting bear Pangoro. I think Pangoro is pretty much strictly worse than Urshifu across the board, except it's slightly superior special defense which is really not that great. However where Pangoro kinda shines is its ability to use Scrappy, which can hit ghost types uh, regardless of their immunity to things like close combat. It's also immune to intimidate which is pretty nice. So this thing can come in and click choice band close combat pretty much against any type in the game except maybe flying or fairy and start picking up KOs because it's 120 base stab coming off a relatively a very impressive 381 attack with scrappy we do not have to care about ghosts we also have knockoff to take care of those ghosts for if we do not want to click uh, close combat or if we don't want to run scrappy for example maybe for some reason you want to run mold breaker or iron fist though to be honest I'd always recommend scrappy Knockoff is also still a good team support option. We also have Darkest Lariat if you miss ignoring defense uh, boosts from something like an Iron Defense Pokemon. Uh, so Darkest Lariat can work quite effectively and can also technically be a bit stronger than Wicked Blow at max power because this always results in a crit being 120 base. If this crits, it's I think 122.5 base, so that's small bit stronger. And finally, we have access to Parting Shot, which is quite nice, uh, especially in a fighting team, because fighting doesn't have the best pivoting options. It also brings the psychic immunity that Urshifu offered to the fighting type. Overall, I don't think Pangoro is as good, but I think it can run a small niche, especially if we are a fan of its design, which personally I am. A natural replacement for Urshifu Wicked uh, stri Single Strike um, is Urshifu Rapid Strike on the fighting type. So Urshifu Surge, uh, Rapid Strike gives us Surging Strikes, which is pretty good, as it also always results in a critical and hits three times. This is really good for hitting uh, through stashes, sturdies, um, substitutes, for example, which is quite good, and water coverage in general is very strong. Where this does not shine, however, is hitting things like a Garchomp with Rough Skin or a... Ferrothorn, for example, though I don't know why you'd ever click Search and Strikes against a Steel or a Water team. Maybe on Aegis Slash and the Ferrothorn comes in, for example. These Surging Strikes is going to do a whole lot of chip damage to Urshifu. Its stat spread is the exact same as that of its single strike brother. Uh, we do also have access to Priority on Aqua Jet. We could run a bulkier build with Drain Punch and Bulk Up, for example, or we can still run Poison Jab. So overall, it's very similar to Single Strike, though I don't think it's going to be as good on a fighting team, because we're Single Strike really shun with this Dark Typing to be immune to Psychic to hit Psychic types back super effectively, and, so, and Dark Fighting was just fantastic coverage in general. Though I do think we're going to see the rise in usage of Urshifu Rapid Strike. Next up, if you're absolutely starved for fighting ghost types and you want a scrappy user, Surfetch is a decent option because it has even superior attack to that of Urshifu. It outshines it by 5 base speed, 5 base attack, sorry. Unfortunately, beyond that, it's completely outclassed by Urshifu in pretty much every regard. It also has access to first impression if you really, really hate fighting psychic types. First impression can easily dispatch them, especially with Leak being quite uh, good to raise our critical hit rate by two, making this thing quite hard to tank, again, if you're starved for uh, critical hits from Wicked Blow. Overall, I think Starfetch will be a gimmick, but it could see some usage, especially for scrappy close combat. Though I will warn you with first impression, psychic teams very, very often do run psychic terrain, which is going to completely ignore your priority in first impression, so do bear that in mind. And finally, an option for a psychic a fighting type could be Gallade. Again, not a perfect replacement, but if you are starved for fighting psychic types, psychic types are generally specially offensive, and Gallade is pretty good special attack. Or special defense, sorry. Um, with max and leftovers, we are quite bulky with 361 special defense. We can also get good longevity through things like Drain Punch. Sword Zance can increase our already pretty impressive attack stat. And we have Shadow Snake to deal with, Psychic Types, or Knock Off if we want to go down that route instead. So it's not going to be a perfect replacement for Urshifu, but could have a niche as a Psychic check on fighting types.
So there are some options I would recommend. If you have any more ideas, please leave them down in the comments below. I'd like to think, uh, I'd like to hear what you think or, or what you're going to run in replacement of Arshifu. Now with that, I want to discuss briefly my thoughts on the ban. So I said earlier in the video, I was kind of on the fence about Arshifu being banned, and I still am. Overall, I do think it was too powerful for the meta, though I am slightly against the ban because I think personally, Dark to me is a plus a top five type and fighting is probably a bottom five type. I think to ban Urshifu, have a carpet ban on Urshifu in both types, might be a bit too much for fighting to handle. I think this is, if you excuse the pun, quite a wicked blow to the fighting type. It's gonna see, it's gonna get hurt a lot, and I think we're gonna see the rise in use of things like dark and poison types. Sorry, I'm stealing poison types. Dark being a top five type is still gonna be hurt quite badly by this, and I think it's going to drop in viability a decent bit, though I think it will still just about survive in the meta, personally. Now I also question, is Wicked Blow the problem, or is it Urshifu in general? If we just banned Wicked Blow as an attack, would Urshifu be much more um, manageable in the tier? It's something I think I'd like to explore later on in a video. It's a whole video to itself, the idea of complex bans. It's something I don't agree with. It's a very controversial topic on Smogun, and especially Monotype, so it is something I want to discuss in a later video. Let me know if you're interested in that. my thoughts on that. So, to summarize, I think, yes, it should have been banned, specifically on Dark Types, but I think maybe we should have suspected separately on Fighting Types. And overall, I think the rise in Poison and Steel Types are going to be a bit harsh for the meta and i think we need to target on some other types and other defensive threats for example especially on the steel type i think its core of aegislash heatran and celesteela for example is really really good arguably too good especially now that a fantastic wall breaker like urshifu is leaving the tier so i think next on the scope i would like to see specifically personally i would like to see celesteela suspect tested because I think it's very good on steel teams, it's very good on flying teams, both of which I think at the moment are top tier types, and I think it's gonna become a lot more oppressive and we're gonna see a lot more steel and poison. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comments and let me know if you enjoyed this. I'm sorry if I rambled a bit, this was completely unscripted. I only woke up this morning and saw the fact the news that Urshifu was banned, so I want to do a quick coverage of my thoughts and maybe some options that you can deal with it. So with that, I hope you have a fantastic day and take care everyone.